All right, so we've got a few examples applying the theorems we just saw in the intro video. So in this first example, we want to solve for angle X and angle Y. Here's that center of the circle right there. Um, and the only thing that we are given is this arc measure from here to here is 120 degrees. So what we want to notice about this picture is that that is an arc being formed by First, we'll look at this angle X. So there's an inscribed angle intercepting, and this is its intercepted arc, 120 degrees. So we saw in a video the other day about the inscribed angles. So remember, an inscribed angle is equal to half of the arc. So if we know that the arc is 120 degrees, that means that angle X is equal to 60 degrees. All right, well now we have to look at angle Y, and what we notice is angle Y is intercepting the same arc. So if this arc is 120 degrees, well that means that angle Y will also be 60 degrees, half of that arc. So there's an example of that first theorem from the intro video. Alright, this next example we're going to solve for angle X and arc Y. Um, here's the center of our circle, and what we notice is that we've got the diameter right here. And we have an inscribed angle in this semicircle. So if your inscribed angle is intercepting right here at that diameter, we know, or at least the theorem told us, that that is going to be a 90 degree angle. So x is equal to 90 degrees. Alright, and then y is this arc right here, and that's a semicircle, it's half of the circle. So y is equal to 180 degrees. Alright, there's one last example that I want you guys to draw into your notes. So go ahead and pause the video, just draw this picture out as best you can. Alright, once you have this drawn, we are asked to find the measure of arc AZC. So AZC is over here on this side. The only information that we're given is angle B is 50 degrees. So If you have a tangent-tangent angle, so an angle formed by two tangents right here, um, the angle plus its minor arc is going to equal 180 degrees. So we're going to use that to help us um, solve for what we need here. So we have that theorem that says angle B plus its minor arc AC is going to equal 180 degrees. Now we know what angle B is. Angle B is 50 degrees. We don't know what arc AC is, but that's going to, we want that. That's going to help us answer the original question. That equals 180. So if we just subtract 50 from both sides, we're going to get arc AC. So arc AC is 130 degrees. So if we look back up here at the picture, we just figured out that arc AC from here to here is 130 degrees. And we are being asked to find arc AZC. So all we have to do to find that is take 360 degrees, the full circle, subtract out the 130, and that's going to give us the measure of arc AZC, 230 degrees.